Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorials number 11. In this tutorial I'll be just telling I will be telling you how to add different colors to your um, your mesh, okay, and, and only have one mesh. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, default cube and add mesh. Uh, I'm going to add a cylinder. Okay, I'm going to scale it, uh, scale it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do face selection and work, cancel out other side. Okay, now we can select a few verts and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to object mode and come down here to our our little materials tab. I'm going to add new. So now it has uh, its own materials and set up. Okay, I'm going to uh, change this color to red. So now the object has turned red. But say we want a different color here and a different color here. What we have to do is go into edit mode and select a few. Or what it, whichever ones you want. doesn't matter. Okay, and I'm going to select one over here and one over here. I'm going to go in edit mode. I'm going to go to the edit buttons and hit new. There's a little new button in the links and materials tab. And you hit new there. And it looks like nothing happened, but if you watched there was it went up a number right here and you can change this to blue this is you're going to assign this blue color to the new verts that you just selected so be careful on which vertices you have selected okay so after you selected your vertices and you added a new color you go to assign and now you assign those colors see very simple and uh, hopefully you can understand what you can do from this you can chain you can come in here and uh well how to switch the in between the two is uh go to the links and pipeline, hit over, and then you have here up and then you have your second one and you can change all the settings, all of this, whatever you want. Okay. Right, so that was changing colors in edit mode. I'm gonna delete that in object mode. Oh and uh before I forget this, if you're in edit mode and you hit delete after you've selected all and you erase the vertices and you it go out of tab mode or you're in object mode after you just delete it in edit mode the uh... it'll still be there okay you see how this is here these arrows in object mode you have well say uh... Okay, well, if you're in edit mode and you delete all the vertices and then you go to object mode, the object is not permanently deleted. You have to delete it in object mode. So hit delete and erase object. So see, now they went away. Okay, sorry for pausing there, just trying to get that through. Okay, in object mode, I'm going to add mesh uh, UV sphere. I'm going to set this to 15 and 15. Okay, scale it up a bit. I'm going to go to the edit buttons and set it to smooth. Add a subsurf modifier to level 2. Go into object mode. And I'm going to show you displacement mapping and normal mapping. So add new. And we're just going to make this a nice blue. Okay. I've done nothing special. Just added a sphere. Set it to smooth. Add a subsurf modifier and change the color to blue now there's a textures panel all the way to the right okay if you hit add new on your textures panel it sets all this map into and I'll zoom in for you okay after you've hit this I'll show you after you've gone to this uh, this window you ha you hit add new and a new texture will appear you have map input and map to go to your texture okay so this is what it looks like after you hit your add new texture you can go up to your edit buttons and you have this is the material and you go to texture okay now you've added your now you're in your textures window this little square with it looks like a zebra or not a zebra but leopard skin looking thing okay after you've been there you go to uh, this this will tell you what kind of design or pattern you want to lay out we're just gonna add clouds Okay, so this is our preview window. This is the settings for the clouds object. Okay, so you can change this around. I'm just gonna change it around a little bit to show you the difference. 
Soft noise from hard noise. Okay, see the difference? Alright. I'm going to scale this up a bit and just set the noise depth to 6. The noise depth is um, how much uh, design and com complexity it is. It's more like, uh, see here how uh, fine and fabricated it looks. And if you turn it down to 0, it's just hardly any detail at all. So just bring that up a lot when you're working. Just depends on your computer, really. The deeper the noise, the better for the most point, the most part. Excuse me. Go back to your after you've added your new texture. There's a color band window, and you can change colors in here for the texture. But uh, for displacement mapping, you don't really use this. So I'm just going to hit color band again and just get rid of it for now. You can either look at that yourself or whatever. Okay. So now that you've done that, you've added your new texture with your clouds. Go back to the materials tab, and you'll see now that you have like pink scatters everywhere. It's not so much just pure blue. Okay. So for to do the uh, the displacement mapping, you go down to where you added your new texture. Okay. And you have map input, which we're not going to use right now. And we have map 2, which we're going to use now. So this is pink, okay? And so is the uh, texture around it. So if we change this to uh, a really dark red, you'll see the difference in our preview window. So see? Okay. Now, to make this texture kind of jump off the object without changing the vertices around, you have to uh, hit the DISP for displacement mapping. Once you've hit that, there's a thing that matches it here, and you turn this up. I'm just going to turn it up all the way so you can see a larger effect. Uh, I don't think it's... Okay, there we go. You've noticed how it's more jagged and not so smooth around anymore. Okay. Now to uh, even increase this, you can hit the NOR. This will kind of chop our displacement mapping up. So hit NOR right here in our map two, and hit the corresponding NOR uh, slider and just slide this up. And now you can see how choppy it made this uh, mesh look. And it has not changed any vertices. Okay. It's just our map is like displaced everywhere, and it just the faces and pixels have to combine. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> I doubt it, but I'm gonna shift D the light so we can get a render. I'm gonna hit F12, and we'll see the effect of the displacement mapping. Okay, very choppy, not so pretty. Uh, you can just uh, select your sphere again and just uh, go back to your materials. I'm going to take off the NOR this time and bring this slider back down. And I'm going to hit F12. And without the NOR, the displacement still has a large effect on it. Looks almost like a proton or something. Alright, so. This concludes our tutorial for uh, adding colors in edit mode and displacement mapping. Hope you enjoy.